Hey everyone, in this problem we have to integrate 1 over z with respect to the z along the unit circle in the counterclockwise direction. So the formula for an integral like this uh, is as follows. So if you have the integral of f of z with respect to z along a contour c, this is equal to the definite integral from a to b of f of let's say w of t times the derivative of w of t dt. Where here w of t is a parametrization of your contour um, c. So t is between a and b and so the graph of w gives you uh, gives you c. So in this case we have the unit circle so uh, what does the unit circle look like? Well, it's just a circle centered at the origin of radius 1. looks like this. Right, so every point on the unit circle can be described by the function uh, w of t equal to e to the i t. And t here would run from 0 to 2 pi. So t here uh, runs between 2 pi and 0. All right, so this is 0 here, this is pi over 2, um, this is pi, uh, this is 3 pi over 2. So any point on the unit circle can be given uh, by e to the i t, right? Okay, so now we just have to uh, work out this problem. So here f of z is equal to 1 over z. Right, that's what we have here in this problem. And then w of t, we said, was uh, e to the i t. And so now we just need the derivative. Uh, so w prime of t, well the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. Here it's e to the i t times the derivative of the inside function. So your inside function in this case is i t and so its derivative is simply i. i is a constant. The derivative of t is 1. So this is i e to the i t. Alright, now we can go ahead and plug everything into our formula. So we have, it's going to be the definite integral from 0, that's our a, uh, b is 2 pi, okay. Then we have f of e to the i t, that's our w, times um, w prime, which is i e to the i t, i e to the i t, and let us not forget the dt. This is equal to the definite integral from 0 to 2 pi. So f of e to the i t, you just plug it in here, so it'll be 1 over e to the i t. Then here we have the i, and we still have the e to the i t, dt. The nice thing is the e to the i t's cancel, right? And so we get the definite integral from 0 to 2 pi of i dt. i is a constant, so when you integrate it, you just get i t and we're going from 0 to 2 pi. Then you just plug in the 2 pi first, so you get i, replace t with 2 pi, so you get 2 pi, subtract, replace t with 0, so you get 0. So the final answer to this problem would be 2 pi i. That's it.